What's up, Dokkan player? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Blaze, and we are back with another Dokkan Battle video. And today, before we start the video, of course, hopefully you guys are having a very good day today. And today, we're going to go ahead and talk about the hype for the Part 2 LRs. When exactly are they going to be releasing on Global? And also, as well, when can you actually start using your Rainbow Tickets? Now, uh, the Part 2 LRs, as you guys can see here, are going to be here. The LR Kalken Goku and also the Giant Ape Vegeta. Uh, which by the way are both really good LRs, but unfortunately the Goku is just a much more better unit compared to Vegeta. Um, Vegeta is definitely a very good character, but defensively you can't really rely on him. Uh, he's going to be really good here for, of course, your uh, Extreme Super Battle if you're having trouble with it. Um, because he does have here an AoE, which is actually really powerful. But uh, I, again, Kalka and Goku is definitely going to be taking uh, the ace right here. So when exactly do these characters actually drop with their Legendary Summon Banner? Um, it's actually going to be pretty simple. We can actually go ahead and predict this based on the previous anniversaries. So we actually can see here for the 6th year anniversary, um, this always is going to be kind of something that happens every year. Whenever the part 2 of the anniversary starts, a week later, about 7 or 8 days here, um, the legendary summon banner actually drops by here. So we can see here for the 6th year anniversary, the part 2 of the anniversary started on the 18th and the banner dropped on the 25th. Um, which is pretty weird because when you take a look at the characters for Frieza and for 17, um, they actually says they're only available on the 26th of July. So, uh, technically it should be 8 days, but we're going to go here with 7 days because I guess the 25th is different for some people in, in different countries here, right? So, again, uh, usually a week after when the Part 2 drop is exactly when these guys for the Part 2 LRs are going to release. And the same thing happened also here for the 5 year anniversary as well. Uh, we can see here for the 5 year anniversary, the part 2 started on the 19th, and then a week later, the banner for, of course, the Broly, Chilai, Lemo, and also the Rose, um, you can see here on the 26th, did actually also release here, uh, which is pretty crazy, right? So, uh, again, so because we know that the anniversary for part 2 on Global is going to be started on the 19th, I'm going to be pre predicting, uh, it could be on the 18th or the 19th, but I'm going to go with the 19th. Then that means here on the 27th of July, that is exactly when uh, the banner is going to be dropping. Now, the 27th of July is going to be a Wednesday. So, yeah, I'm going to say it's going to be either the 27th or maybe the 28th, but I'm going to go here with the 27th of July. Maybe even the 26th of July, but that's going to be the three days you want to go ahead and expect to actually um, uh, summon for these catches right here. Now, in regards to the thank you celebration tickets, uh, that's also going to be the same day when you can actually use those tickets. Now, those tickets, again, I would highly recommend um, that you actually, if you haven't pulled the LR Super Saiyan 4 or the LR Gods either, um, I would highly recommend that you actually use your tickets for those banners, right? Because um, it's actually really important that you actually have a 200% leader skill, especially if you're a new player of Dokkan, because the ultimate red zone, um, which we are getting here new stages, definitely is going to be much more in your favor to actually beat it if you have your a 200% leader skill, right? Um, the 170 is actually not that bad, but the HP does, you know, become actually a problem if you're actually entering a team build with less than like 500k of HP, right? So, uh, again, I would highly recommend that with your tickets, um, if you don't have the new LRs yet, then you can actually go ahead and use them on the um, LR Super Saiyan 4 Gods or the, or the LR Super Saiyan 4 um, Goku and Vegeta, right? Because we can see here, um, if I can actually find your banner... Uh, I guess I should have it prepared right here. Um, there we go. We'll just put up one of the banners right here. Uh, you can see here that you can actually use your thank you celebration tickets um, whenever the LR Goku and Vegeta, which should be dropping again on 27th of July. Um, this is where you can actually use your rainbow tickets. And the reason why I also do recommend that you actually use them on these type of banners here as well is just because when we take here at the, at the, the look at the top legendary banner unit for the LR Kalken Goku and also the Vegeta, it is a complete father of a banner right here. There's none of these cards right here are actually really good for ultimate red zone. Maybe Hot Virus Goku is actually not a bad pick. Um, but other than that, like, you probably have your, I would say, maybe the Super Saiyan Goku is good for Super Battle Road. But the rest can't really argue here. Um, they're definitely just not going to be something very usable uh, when it comes to very difficult content. Um, I mean, if you are going to be doing an event here that you can actually stack defense, then these guys are pretty good. But, I mean, we're really past that right now because there's a lot of free-to-play characters who actually are good in long events. So, um, 
again when you look at this banner right here and you haven't pulled the new lr super saiyan force or the gods i mean it's a very easy pick that with your rainbow tickets you definitely want to go ahead and go on this banner right here because it's much more worth your value i mean if you don't pull of course these the 70 the anniversary lrs at least you have a good chance of pulling ui goku or full power freezer who are still pretty good um unfortunately the rest here on this banner right here are not really good uh, the five-year anniversary lrs are just very foddered but again if you don't want to go to the lr gods you can always go here on the lr super saiyan fours um because their banner is actually much more better especially with all the e incoming ezas here right so again i only recommend that you use the tickets on these banners right here if you have not yet pulled them but if you did then go ahead and use your rainbow tickets on this banner right here um so again that's gonna be it for the anniversary for part two so let me know if you guys are hyped for the lrs are you guys abusing your tickets on the gods or the super saiyan fours or are you going to go ahead and actually use your tickets on this banner right here and how deep do you plan on going um on the top legendary summon banner again i don't recommend you spend any dragon stones on this banner right here just use your tickets but again if you don't have the 200 percent leader skills then definitely make this a priority with your rainbow tickets all right so that is going to be a video for today um if you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like button sub for more videos coming down below and actually let's take a quick look here at the five-year anniversary lrs oh boy my god lr, LR bully chill i love more just so bad it's 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 so crazy man these guys came out two years ago and they've just aged out really badly and then even the six-year anniversary lrs my god they are just really i mean i guess you're okay but i haven't really used you but i mean this character right here, Frieza, Golden Frieza, my god, they've completely dropped the ball. It's a just completely fodder character. Um, the only thing I really saved him is his leader skill, but other than that, this character is just not my favorite. Anyways, that's the video. Getting off topic, but again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button. Sub for more videos, comment down below. And hopefully, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!